First day of the UMBC Dog Pound Invitational, as the Retrievers had the second game of the day, hosting the Drexel Dragons at 145. Taylor Hall put the Retrievers up 1-0 with an RBI single in the third. Here in the fourth inning, the bases are full, and Danielle O'Neill reaches on an error, scoring a run, putting UMBC up 2-0, and then Bridget O'Malley would walk in the next at-bat. Retrievers would go up 3-0 in the fourth. Freshman pitcher Jessica Holty coming off her first career loss kept the Dragons in check here in the seventh inning with a runner on. She manages to work around the damage here with a ground out to her, and then the game would end on this ground out to the catcher. She pitched seven innings scoreless. Retrievers would win 3 nothing. Holty would improve to 10-1. and one. I feel like the defense was really good behind me. Um, I felt like I could just put the ball over the plate and they could hit it and I knew that my defense would be behind me to back me up and that we'd get the outs. Yeah, we kind of came out in the first, second like, inning. We made an error, another inning we made an error, but we bounced back with the slow hits, um, even the pop-ups to the outfield. We were able to charge the ball and get their slappers out, which are quick, so that also helped a lot. And our pitcher also um, did amazing. Like She only had a few strikeouts, but her defense was behind her and got her back most of the time. Final game of the day featured UMBC hosting Rhode Island, and the Rams would get on the board in the first inning and continue to threaten. They would have second and third with two outs, but freshman pitcher Nicole Cassegrand, she would get this ground out to end the inning and limit the damage. Rhode Island would lead up until the fourth inning when Caitlin Chance would get this RBI single up the middle, scoring a run. The Retrievers would tie the game at one and have the bases loaded with one out. However, they could not send any more home. Casagrande would keep the Rams in check the rest of the game. She would not allow another run after the first inning, and this one would go extras. Bottom of the eighth, Taylor Hall leads off with this single up the middle off the second baseman's glove. After an out, it was Chelsea Bertolio, and she would draw a walk, putting first and second with one out. After another out, it was freshman Jacqueline Buckley. Buckley finished 4-4 four for four in the game. The Retrievers win 2-1 in eight innings and move to 16-5. and five. We had two masterpieces today on the pitching. Um, it was just nice to see, uh, especially on this one, since we gave up a run early and had to punch back and get that run. Um, we tried to throw strike one 70% of the time, and Larry said uh, we were a little over that today. And then we didn't get a lot of strikeouts, but we pitched the contact, moved the ball, changed speeds. And you know, I'm always about pitching, good defense, and a timely hit. And you know, and, that, and that's how we won the second game, and actually the first game as well. Um, I was just looking for a pitch that I could hit, and wasn't really expecting anything. I was just going out there with my best swing. I was pretty much just doing like what I normally do. I was just letting my team field it. I knew that they were going to get it done, so I wasn't worried about like letting them hit it. My team has my back, so.